We got to stay at play. And guess what? We don't have to wait until the PlayStation 5 launches to see the UI. It's happening right now. Yeah. I kind of overslept a little bit and everybody's already seen this, but I'm going to react to it right now. I'm going to do a let's talk on it. So state of play, it just dropped out of blue. Nobody knew about this. And yeah, they're showing off the PlayStation UI. There was no leaks. There was no inside rumors. I kind of, I think we've, so we have seen a hint, a tease of this on one of the other state of plays. Um, they showed like before you go into the UI, you know, when you connect, uh, connect your controller, you hit the PlayStation button. And so anyways, without further ado, I don't want to talk too much because I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter than like a 20 minute video. Um, I'm trying to stick around the 10 to 15 minute mark. Yeah, right. Right. Um, so anyways, let's get into this. Let's check this out. This is what we've all been waiting for the UI on the PlayStation five. So, uh, hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it looks minimal and hopefully we still have like, you know, videos and everything that play in the background, just like the PS4 UI. Um, it, it's like half of people really think that you, the PS4 UI is slow. And I will say the only time I've ever personally seen the, the PlayStation UI being very slow is when a game was run. And that's just because the PS4 is, you know, it's old tech at this point. Um, so the PS5 interface should run flawless smoothly and also the other one too i've seen a lot of people say that um the quick resume feature that's on the xbox it's not on the playstation i'm like they kind of already said it was so um uh, maybe it was maybe it was leaks or rumors or something but i'm very sure playstation themselves officially said that's like a next gen feature that every or that both consoles are going to have so um and quick resume um one 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 final point uh before we start this video so quick resume even I was in that boat of like, it's a pointless feature, but quick resume, if it runs like the Xbox version, um, even if you unplug your system, you, you know, no matter what you're doing, it's doing a safe state somewhere on your console. Now, if the PlayStation 5 does not have quick resume, it's not like the biggest thing in the world, um, but it is, it is kind of a decent feature to have. I wonder if they could, if they don't have it stock. Um, I wonder if they could actually throw it in. I'm just, I swear though. I heard that they said they were going to have that. That's like just a next gen feature. Um, so if you're, if your buddies want to play a, a multiplayer game and you're in the middle of cyberpunk 2077 or something, and you want to just pause that, go over, play a few multiplayer rounds and then come back later on. That's what that quick resume is for. Even if your power goes out, you unplug the system, anything, it will save that save state and will not erase that data unless you physically or digitally whatever close out the game <laughs> um so yeah yeah it's 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 a decent feature i was i was in that boat of like eh, why do we need it but anyways um so playstation stayed stay of play here we go we're gonna see if the playstation has that and how this ui runs and how everything looks so let's get into this hi everyone i'm hideaki nishino and I head up PlayStation's platform planning and management team, which includes product and UX design. Today, we are finally going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. We've seen that inside see some of the features that enable games inside the box and now hardware and network to deliver a truly next generation experience. Our vision for a PS5 user experience is simple. We believe that your playtime is valuable and should be meaningful. PlayStation team members are. from all around the world work to deliver a PS5 experience FPS. that is completely nice. centered on you, the player, Bloop. connecting you Hit with a great button. play and a passionate community of gamers. With a look and feel that's designed for 4K TVs, the PS5 user experience was built from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities, complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. I should note that this video tour is from a pre-production environment on the PS5 console, so there may be a few small wrinkles Preview or units. minor changes once the console launches in November. And now, let's check it out, courtesy of our own Sid Schumann. E e Thanks, Nishino-san. Welcome to your <laughs> new PlayStation 5 console experience. Scotty! This time, we started up from rest <laughs> mode. We've already created right. an account and signed into PlayStation Network, so let's log Fancy. in. See-through bubbles. Okay. Ah, little big plant on the background. 
In this case, I've resumed okay. right where I left off in Sackboy A Big Adventure. And here, Quick we're resume. at PlayStation 5's Control Center. The only the Xbox here, it's that. one click and we're right back into the game. But let's take a moment and look around. The Control Center... As I said, it's a next-gen feature. I don't know where in the hell people are getting away with saying that, like, oh, the PlayStation doesn't have the feature. It's an Xbox feature. Only Xbox had that. No, that's a next-gen feature. Both the consoles have the stuff. Both consoles have very similar stuff, except for PlayStation has all the games. There <laughs> is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides Band immediate boy wars. access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving the game. This includes things like seeing who is online, checking the status of a download, managing your controller, power, and more. These colorful characters no PlayStation are called down there. cards, and they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the Control Center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by publishers for games I am following. Hmm. Another okay. card here shows me recent media I've captured from my gameplay using the create button on the DualSense controller. <laughs> that, that first card is like you start showing your Twitter feed. You're like, oh God, no, just turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Let's check out one of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. They're actually just to the right in this row, and we call them activities. Activities, activities. are part of the plan to remove barriers to gameplay. Let's get an example of one way they're used in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Are they, wait. With the tap of the PlayStation button, I'm back to playing the game. Do we not Sack have trophies Boy, anymore? The adventure is packed with things to discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of which I can go back to later to discover more. I may actually play this. Play a little bit of Sackboy. I tap the PlayStation button to bring up the control center. This sounds wrong. I can see a number of available activities, both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, A Big Adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Wait, Here so our I trophy's going away? Information, including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. It says about 10 minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. Okay, that's kind of spoilery though. So if you're if you're running through something like an Assassin's Creed and it's like, okay, so how much more time do I got to do? I mean, it's it might be kind of nice if you're like streaming and you're like, okay, how much time do I do I still need left? You know, let me make my camera just a little bit smaller. But how much more time do I have left before I am 100% done and complete with this level? It might be kind of nice on that, although you can kind of gauge from the game, you know, I got such and such many chapters to go. Um so I don't. Mm, it looks like they're doing away with trophies. I don't know how I feel about that. I was I was collecting trophies and having a good time, like the, your platinums. It, I think the biggest thing with trophies, um, for me is the platinums. I want to have something that is like if there if there's a game that I really enjoy, like Spider Man, for instance. Like, I really enjoyed getting the Platinum in that. I really enjoy showing off, like, yes, I 100% completed every single thing in that game. So if this right here, if this, um, what do they call them, event, um, if, if they have something where it shows, like, yes, this person went above and beyond and, and really just did everything in the game, that would be really cool. Even if we get rid of, like, bronze and silver and gold trophies, like, just something that really, you know, it just shows off, like, you really love this game. Um, also, you can post, I, I do kind of like posting on social media and showing developers as, like, a big thank you, you know, to developers for making something really good. Like, Days Gone, um, Spider-Man, uh, I'm... Oh, the Crash Bandicoot 1 uh, Insane Trilogy remaster. Like, I was like, yes, these are great games. I loved, you know, platinuming. Oh, and all the Spyros too. Like, uh, you know, it's it's games like those that really deserve something just a little bit extra so you can be like, thank you guys for making such a, something so good. Ah! <laughs> Some activities even let you jump directly to that place in the game. What? Oh, activities. Sorry, not events. But there's more to see here. For another example, let's open that activity back up.
it looks like I missed an objective to find the monk robes costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 games. Huh. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web search uh, digging through long videos or articles that might contain spoilers. Uh, this particular hint okay. is there, and I can play it here in the car. Helpful, but not really needed. Expand it to get a bigger view without leaving the game. Definitely Sometimes helpful. Really I just don't think this is really needed too much. That's no, kind of cool. You can throw it up on screen. Some cards can be put in a picture-in-picture -picture mode. Nice. Or, as shown here, a side-by-side -side view. Super cool. And if you pin a card, you can access it via the... I don't think I've seen anything on Xbox that does this, so... Now let's go find those rascally monk robes. Like, Xbox was more or less just like... Thanks, we can send you to a website where you can see it... The team at PlayStation yeah. wanted to make it really easy to chat with your friends on the PlayStation 5 console. So let's Bloop. check out how it works. And then you Here, start. I'm opening an interactive notification with a tap of the PlayStation button. And I've decided to join the voice chat that my friend just entered. Now, my friend could have Wait. done this. Game Troll Center at any time. Where was the uh, notification? Oh, okay. Up there. The team yeah. At PlayStation wanted to make it really easy. Okay. And I've decided to join the voice chat that my friend just entered. Now, my friend could have done this on the PlayStation app for mobile devices, from a PS4. Sorry, I was looking at Sackboy. I'm like, he's so detailed. PS5. The DualSense controller <laughs> features an integrated microphone, too, so I could start talking right away. But I always have the ability to hit the mute button on the mm. controller or in the menus. I don't like that at all. I really don't like that at all. But they added the microphone on the controller. That's like... Parties take on it. I have all the stuff that's on the controller. That's... Easily my least favorite feature is having a microphone built into the damn controller because then we're gonna have so it's gonna sound like Xbox 360 lobbies all over again. These kids ain't ready, and there's gonna be so much drama and chaos and everything in in the PS5 party chat landscape. Everybody's gonna have a, a hell of a time shit talking, but it's gonna be it's just gonna be one of those things where in this day and age. Sony's going to get in trouble for something of somebody on their on their system says because this system is so damn sought after. There's going to be this just giant flood wave of new users and everybody's going to be like, I have a microphone at my disposal. <gasps> I'm behind a screen. Like you think keyboards are bad? Just wait. Oh, just you wait. An expanded role with PS5 and they now provide persistent spaces to connect with groups that you play with. Here I have a couple of friends chatting away in the party. One of them has started sharing their screen with the group. Hmm. Looks like they're playing Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We can chat while we play, and I can watch his progress as well. Really? Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. This is another card that could be put in picture-in-picture -picture mode. What? Or to the side while you play. You can access it anytime via the control center too, but let's dismiss it for now. Power to PS5. That's actually really cool. Wow. Okay, let's review. So far, we've seen how activities on PS5 will make it easier and faster to hop back into PS5 games, and how you can get in-game help and chat with your friends. So that leaves online multiplayer gaming. Let's check it out. I see that some of my friends are online, so it's time to say goodbye to Sackboy for now and spin up a match of Destruction All-Stars. One of my friends in the party has already started a match, and we can join them from this Destruction card Destruction All-Stars. All I'm thinking is PlayStation All-Stars, and I know it's nothing like that. <laughs> and there we go. Destruction All-Stars now quickly starts thanks to PS5's <laughs> ultra hell is this game? speed SSD. I don't even think I've ever seen this game. What? Okay, I think we've got enough people on our party, so let's jump in. Damn Keep those load screens! On PS5's user experience. There's today, lack so of them. Let's zip ahead so we can see more. Yeah. I saw a wolf helmet. Hey, yeah. And just like that, Whee! we're in. We don't have time to play a full match today, but I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just tap the Create button on the DualSense controller. <gasps> Bam! PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay, but when you compose a shot even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. 
This optimizes capturing the moment, letting you review and choose to share later on. I should mention in real time and video could be captured at up to 4K on the PS5 console. Cool. Okay. Very so cool. I, I actually off, use the record feature a lot on the PS4. Chat with your friends, get into groups together, I have a ton of stuff to up, upload to Instagram gameplay, for PS5 drops. While in game. But what if I want to play a different game? <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> Welcome to the PlayStation 5 home screen. This is where you'll land when you start up from a powered off state and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to okay. play and download. All right. The layout of the space is designed to present games and game content. I like this. L- Littler. With simple way and super smaller. Fast access to what you need. Icons. And in case you're wondering, I really like related that. apps will have their own space like this one. But today we're focused on gaming. Each game has its own hub completely integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Wait a second. Media apps have their own space, but then you end up having right up there of the, uh, the, the share your screenshots and your, your share button and your PlayStation now and everything. In all honesty, the way I set up mine is all the all the like PlayStation app stuff, they go in one folder, all my all my story based games go in another folder, all the multiplayer games go in a third folder. And because I, I usually have like a ton of stuff on, on my dashboard. Just because also the PS uh, the PS4 UI, I couldn't fit everything that I have on my console in the UI. And I know everybody's like, but Call of Duty takes up so much room. It really doesn't though. Everybody over dramatize the hell out of that. Um if you have Call of Duty, GTA, Red Dead, and um, I don't know, something that has like a ton of DLC to it, then you're taking up a lot of your hard drive. But if you partition off Call of Duty, it's like half the size. And a lot of, a lot of people are like, I don't know how to do that and this and that stuff. Although that's going to be hopefully getting a lot easier to do on this on on this next gen stuff. So far, I'm I'm loving everything I'm seeing though. Everything looks sleek. Everything looks you know the the icons are smaller, so I can actually have um, something way cooler. I'm not seeing the wallpaper because they're on a game, but as soon as they click off from a game, go over to. I would love to see the PlayStation Store also. That's another thing I want to see. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Apps will have their own <laughs> space like this one, but today we're focused on gaming. Each game has its Can't own. Can't wait to fire this thing up. Integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can mm-hmm. jump right into. Video clips, stories about the game, DLC, and more. Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Right. Let's move one spot to the left and check out Explore. But how about one spot over from all that? your games. We saw a view of this from the control center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop with official so stories your from news PlayStation feed. and from all the games yeah. you're following, including yeah. trending media from the community. We'll be testing and learning about this feature in the U.S. at launch, so not everyone will have this on day one. So this is where you're going to have, sorry, I keep pausing the video, but uh, this is where you're going to have, so if you're in like, um, I think we're still going to have groups on here and stuff, but if people are posting up screenshots or anything else, there's probably going to be somewhere in this list of like, your friend showed this video off. So if somebody starts going like, dude, check out this video I did, it should be in here. It gives you a good idea of the direction. Yes. And this is PlayStation Store for PS. Because the PlayStation Store. It's completely integrated into Click the on. system. It's not a standalone app anymore. What? Browsing for new games to play will be easier thanks to the speed of PS5 oh, and no. the personalized store experience. Oh no. And here you'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games too. Oh no. I'm sad to say but we are almost out of time. So let's pull up Control Center one more you, time. You, you're not going to show it. Button. On our way out, why don't we You're not going to show it. Photo we can destruction all stars. We can find I wanted to see the PlayStation Store, store damn it. This handy card in Control Center. Or actually, I guess we are ready seeing the PlayStation Store right I there. I'm ready to share it right now. On PlayStation 5, I have the option to share videos and images to supported external sources. Yeah, yeah. Or I can send them directly to one of my parties. Yeah, Remember, okay. parties are bigger than just voice chat now. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. Group Messenger. Let's attach a quick message here. The DualSense controller makes this really easy. PlayStation 5 supports voice dictation in a number of... Oh, so you can speak into the microphone. You have to type messages with the if you don't want to. Simply select the microphone button. Here's a cool detail. 
If my friend hasn't yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity... I can't wait to see people from, like, England and Australia and all that, just, like, with, with like, uh, a really big accent, like, Oi, that match was cracking, you know, like... <laughs> I can do an Australian accent way better than that. That was a that was a really bad attempt. But um, you know, and then the controller's just like, what did you just say? Or you get somebody who who really short changes their words and they're like, you know, yo, that was that was, you know, some do kids say crack a lack of name? Uh no, they don't. Um, but you know, whatever. That that match is popping off, man. And then it's like activity <laughs> might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. Well, that's it for our demo. There are many more exciting features we couldn't get to today, but we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation app user experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. And of course, this was just a first look at what fans could expect on day one. The team at PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. We look forward to sharing more. Thanks for watching. Okay, so there is one blaring thing in this, and it's what I was after Xbox, and they finally changed it. Now PlayStation goes and, and does the exact same thing. And that is this, the storefront. Why would you put the storefront on the UI? That makes absolutely no sense um keep that a separate app because then what you're gonna end up having is the storefront is is usually daily updating and sometimes it's you know multiple times a day that the storefront updates because they have you know games that are going on there for pre-order they got um you know they got games being updated all the time anyways um and ads and everything else that get dropped into the storefront. So I'm really hoping that what they're meaning by this is you're you're going to see this screen right here, but you actually do click into the storefront. Like the, I think they might be worrying this poorly, um, just on the on the point uh, PlayStation Plus collection down there. Um, but yeah, like to please make it a separate app. So like the full storefront experience, you click into in into it like a separate app and then everything loads up in that app. We don't want loading in the background. We don't want any loading in the background. No loading off the UI at, at all because we want all that power going into the game. And I mean, we already have recording features and everything else in the background. I know the system has a lot of power. But utilize all the power to the game, recording features, share functions, party chats, and all that stuff. Those are the core basic mechanics of your system. That's what everybody's looking to be using. The storefront is just every once in a while you pop in to check, you know, to buy something or to check out when something's coming out. Do not make that, like, make it a separate app for absolutely 100% sure. That's the only thing I've seen so far in this PS5 that I'm like, ooh. Because the Xbox One X and the Xbox One just had this problem. There's a reason why the system, um, the UI is really trashy on that. Because they have the storefront literally integrated to the UI. And so you always have the ads upgrade updating. You have the games updating. You have new titles being put on there. You have people trying to buy. Well, the the, the bogged down data flow that is coming from that. Um, uh, not people trying to buy stuff on it, but of course. But uh, but just, uh, you know, you have so much um, system resources just trying to keep that thing up to date in the background while you're trying to play a game because it's, because it's part of the UI. So... It's always trying to update and, and stay up to date. So, that's why, so you can just flip over to it. on If you go on your Xbox One X, go into a game, click onto your dashboard, flip over to the storefront. Everything's just going to be right there, already loaded. And it was good on paper, but it really bogged down the system, just taking you know power away from the processor and everything that is trying to utilize for the games. And because of that, when... I mean, I've had... Uh, instances where games don't run right like red dead i've seen so much more of game instability on the xbox version than the playstation version and i can't say for certain it's because the storefront is part of the ui but it just it's kind of like common sense would would tell you that there's something there's a reason why this system is 
staying less stable than this system over here. And that's like the biggest, you know, like blaringly in the face difference between the two systems um, is, is really that is just the way that the UIs are, are made differently. Plus the Xbox UI really was bogged down anyways, um, just the way it was made. But this looks clean. The PS5 UI looks clean and really good, really thought out. There's a lot of features in there, like the share functionality and everything of being able to um, uh, game screen share with your friend on the fly while you're playing the game and everything. Everything looks smooth. It looked like it was, it was just running. It's very snappy and all that. Um, there was no like load, 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 boom. Now it's on there. There was no connection. That was the other thing too. There was no connecting, not, not too much connecting anyways. It was like one, two, boom. And on that third, on that third second, it's like popped up on your screen. So that's, that's really, that's really something to see right there. Um, I guess the consoles are going to be keeping up with the network connections. If you have a really good network connection, um, other than that, I like I said, maybe just the controller might be bugging me at this point. Everybody having a microphone, I, I, you know, there's functionality with the microphone. Of course, you, you're going to be able to probably hit the R2 button, hopefully, and be like, you know, PlayStation Load, Uncharted, the the Lost Legacy, boom. Um, PlayStation, take screenshot, boom, and you know, doing it like that. But if you jump into something like a Mortal Kombat or a Call of Duty lobby, I hope. So here, here's my biggest hope for it all. I hope that we have a feature in there that is, and we'll probably have it in privacy settings so you can actually turn all that stuff off of, and just totally negate what I'm, what, what I'm saying here. But I'm, I'm really hoping that they add the privacy saying in there to where you can uh, mute everyone except for friends. Just just drop all party chat stuff and, 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 except for friends. Um, and then there we go. I guess that would really alleviate a lot of that headache. Um, because to me, I don't know. I just, if I'm streaming, I don't want a million voices in my ears, you know, just chatting and yelling at each other. It's fun. It's fun for a second on like a video, but it's not something I want the whole night, the whole night through, unless I'm specifically streaming for that reason of like trolling people or something, which I don't usually end up doing. Um, maybe I should start doing it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sackboy's big adventure that looked uh, that looked pretty good right there. Sackboy looks very detailed. Ratchet and Clank, I can't wait to see. Can't wait to see more of that game. Um, Godfall, not so much into. Uh, it looks all right, but it looks very loot grindy, and I'm just in, not into those games anymore. Um, NBA, I've seen I've seen a little bit of that game in motion. Woo, does that look smooth? I just hope they take a lot of the. Uh, I, I hope they skip kind of the a lot of the political activism stuff in NBA and just get back to roots of basketball. Just you know, let's just see competition in basketball. Um, I, I know that a lot of people are kind of feeling that same way. Um, FIFA don't really have too much interest in FIFA, but PlayStation Classic or PlayStation Collection, and technically classics at this point. Um, that's going to be very interesting. There is actually a couple of games in there I haven't even played. I don't, I don't own or anything like The Last Guardian. I always wanted to pick it up. I just never got around to it. So uh, I'll have a free copy. I'll probably end up checking it out on PS5. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the um, the studio. Yeah, hopefully we have a nice suite of, of editing software in this, like the Share Factory was on the PS4. That was actually Share Factory is really good on the PS4. Um, for just being on a console, like, uh, and especially the generation of the console or the, the amount of hardware that it had to work with, it did an excellent job. It, there was crashes from time to time. Sure. But, um, definitely, uh, just being able to go in there and edit together, a, a video and then you can post up on Instagram or Twitter or something. That was awesome. Uh, and you could also post directly from that too. Uh, then on top of that, um, uh, the, Live stream, uh, live streaming features, the share functionality with live streaming features. I really hope that we do have, I know that there's like green screen features and everything. I don't, I, I haven't live streamed straight from the PlayStation in so long that I couldn't tell you exactly, but, uh, but Frostbite, if you go and check out his streams, you can actually see, and this is from like a while ago. Yes. Um, but you can actually see like, you know, it works pretty good on a solid connection. The PS4 um, streaming works pretty good on a solid connection. You'll have some dips. You'll absolutely have some dips, even on a wired connection, because the, the PS4 was just trying to hold up. 
I'm wondering if we're going to have like a crystal clear, maybe 10, a 30, maybe 60 connection and everything. If you're, if you have a solid connection, you're going to be able to do like really crystal clear streaming with the system. You have the power to do it. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, especially if you're streaming like an offline game, if you're streaming online, you're probably gonna have some dips still cause you're streaming off the same system. But the PS five is literally as powerful as like a mid range game in PC, which I use that to work on and stream on all the time. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting system. I, I can't wait to check out the PS five. Everything I've seen at the Xbox has been kind of a teaser for what the PlayStation five can, can offer. And I'm seeing, a lot more functionality with this PlayStation. Maybe it's just not being shown off yet on, on the Xbox, but I'm seeing so much more functionality with this PlayStation 5 than what I've seen so far with the Series X. So um, I'm not saying that they're winning the console war. I don't even think there is a console war, to be honest. Um, yes, there's two consoles, but I don't think there's a war going on. Xbox is doing their thing. PlayStation is doing its thing, and it's doing it very well. So... I'm going to leave it off from there and uh, say this was, uh, I know I said I wanted to do shorter videos and this ended up being 30 minutes long, but um, at least it is right now. I might edit it down some, but yeah, yeah, I can't wait to check this out, check out the controller. I also noticed again, like the controller seems more bulky than the DualShock, um, what are we up to DualShock 4, PS4 controller anyways. It's definitely way more bulky than, than the PS4 controller, which is good. That's good. You might be able to throw it against the wall and it might not break on you. Just kidding. Um, but definitely it's going to it's gonna feel like a solid control in your hands because it is a little more bulky. Anyways, I got other videos to make. So tune in for those also on the channel if you want to see what else I'm, I'm checking out and making videos of uh, probably today and uploading or right around, um, well, hours from now when this video goes up. Uh, hit that subscribe button and you can ring that bell to see exactly when I post up everything, get notifications and, uh, you know, drop that share if you like this video and, uh, you can comment down below. What's your biggest, uh, I never do this. I need to start doing this more. Um, if you have stayed this far through the video, comment down below, say what's your biggest, uh, feature that you're looking for on, on the PlayStation. Is it live stream functionality? Is it share functionality? Is it, um, hoping that the PlayStation store is a separate app <laughs> or is it maybe the PlayStation collection to go back and check out some games that you may have missed on the PS4? Um, yeah, yeah. So, whew. that was a lot to take in. That's a lot to unpack. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> thanks for stopping by and Anytime they drop any more State of Decays, I'll be right there checking it out. Use If they do lives, I usually do a live stream checking it out like that. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I'll see you next time.